Hey guys, this is my review for the Mars 3 from Nebula. Uh, Nebula is owned by Anchor and this is their new project here, I just got it. And I have been using it for a while. This is a really good video projector. The main thing about it is that it's portable and it has its own battery. It can work at least about two hours on the maximum brightness and maximum quality. It has a USB, a HDMI, USB-C output. You can use the battery to charge your uh, devices. It has its own light because it's made for outside camping and basically wherever you want to use it outdoor. Uh, it has different modes that you can use. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, use uh, the battery efficiently or you want to use the maximum brightness, this is the maximum brightness in the midday. You can project it from different angles. So you see on the wall, uh, I uh, project it from the left, I project it from the right. This is how you go into the menu and set up the image projection. It has an automatic system. Here you go turn it on and then it automatically adjusts the screen size to the wall that you're projecting it to. You can do it also manually. When it's auto, you just move it or you just turn it to the wall that you want and you see it just matches that wall. It, it first it scans the wall. It understands that the wall that is projecting to the angle, the zoom level, and then it fits it within that uh, space. That's pretty amazing comparing to some of the older models that I've seen that you have to uh, set it up manually or the automatic system is not as accurate. You see it scanning the wall, it's uh, setting up the focus and you see it's pretty much fitted it exactly in that empty area on the wall. Uh, here it is in a darker space. You see the brightness is really good. It's FHD quality. It's pretty much within the high-end range. And this is how you adjust the screen manually. So it gives you four points on the wall. You can distort the image that is projected on the wall and then use those points to make the perfect image depending on the angle you're uh, projecting it to the wall. So it also has its own automatic system, as I mentioned, that you could just click the one click fit or just uh, click on the remote to scan it and fit it yourself. So here it is, just scan the wall and project it and it looks perfect. And this is how you do it manually. So when you click left and right after clicking the autofocus on the remote, you can actually set up the focus manually to a, to a specific focus range that you find it to be sharp. So this is most useful when you are projecting it from an angle. It updates itself automatically or you could just go into the setting and ask for update if there is an update that it will uh, update the firmware. I have been using this in different environments, especially outdoors. In the outdoor, because it's darker, you get a very good image quality. As you see, the brightness is amazing. Image quality is also really good. What you're seeing in the screen is about 10 to 12 feet from the screen. So it could be much larger. I, I'm just trying to fit it within the screen I have. So you see the quality and the brightness is really good at night and if you wanted to use it outdoor in a backyard or in a uh, in an event in a park or in a camping it gives you very good quality and you don't really even need a, any power because it ha has its own battery and, and it runs about five hours you see i get close to the screen and the quality is just amazing it has its own light in the back so could use the light in the camping or outdoor and also the battery is something that comes in handy if you want to charge your ipad or iphone or use electricity from the battery you see this is about 150 inch uh, size of a screen it's being projected from about 12 feet.